everyone and welcome to the Scout session week two. So my name's Laura and this is Nicola. Hiya. And today we're going to be playing an activity with you called Scoutmaster. So for Scoutmaster you're going to need some equipment. So I'm going to read it out and then you can pause the video, go and collect and we'll start from the beginning. So you're going to need a pen and pencil. You're going to need some paper. You're going to need a cup or a bowl or something to throw something in. You're going to need a tea bag. You're going to need a biscuit. You're going to need a 10p coin. And five other coins. You're also going to need a stopwatch or someone's time for you. Now, if you haven't got all this equipment, don't worry, you can swap and change it. So, for example, if you haven't got five coins, then you could use five other things like five skittles or five pieces of pasta. It doesn't really matter. The same with the 10p coin. If you don't have a 10p, as long as you've got something with heads and tails on, then it doesn't really matter. So, for this task, uh, for this, ta this game, there's going to be 15 different tasks. For the first half, Laura is going to be our Scoutmaster. So when I say when the Scoutmaster does this, your time starts, you need to be watching Laura. Okay, task one. I hope you're all ready. You have one minute to clap your hands as many times as possible. Your time starts when your Scoutmaster pulls a face. Okay, brilliant, well done guys. Task two, you're going to need a your piece of paper and a pen. So task two is take make 50 dots on a piece of paper in 90 seconds. Your time starts when the Scoutmaster shouts banana. Banana! So task three is join up all those dots. You have three minutes to make a picture and the time starts when the Scoutmaster puts a pen on her lip. Brilliant. I hope your pictures looked really good on that one, guys. So task four, you're going to need your cup and your tea bag. Now, you do need to make sure you've got a little bit of space for this one, so try not to trip over anything. So task four, place the cup in front of your computer and take two large steps backwards. How many times can you throw a tea bag into it in two minutes? Your time starts when the Scoutmaster pokes out her tongue. Go. How many times did you manage to throw your tea bag in the cup? Let us know on our Facebook page or down below. Brilliant. All right, task five. You're also going to need a paper and a pen again for this one. Okay, it's going to be for three minutes and a half. And with your eyes shut, you need to draw a self-portrait. Your time starts when the Scoutmaster winks three times. Make sure to keep your eyes shut. Okay, task six. What we want you to do on this one is we want to see a photo of you on our Facebook page. So you can always ask an adult to take a photo and send it to us so we can see it. And for everybody else to see it as well, to see how many different ways we can do this challenge. So task six, you have five minutes to return wearing an item of clothing in the most unusual ways, way possible. So your time starts when the Scoutmaster blurts out, all change, all change. Okay, task seven. You need a piece of paper again for this activity. So task seven is tear the best picture out of your piece of paper. You have three minutes. Your time starts when your Scoutmaster shouts the word paper. Paper. So how did tearing out your picture from a piece of paper go? really like to see some of your designs that you ended up making so me and nicola have decided to swap over now and so nicola's going to be the scout master for the next few tasks so this task is a little bit different you've got to hold your hands behind your back at all times and try to put something on your head you've got 30 seconds and your time starts when the scout master puts her hand on her head
So how many of you managed to get anything on your head in those 30 seconds? So your next task is to find an object that looks like you, but it can't be a picture or a photo. You've got three minutes to find something and your time starts when the Scoutmaster says tree trunk five times. Tree trunk, tree trunk, tree trunk, tree trunk, tree trunk. So how did you all get on with that task? Your next one, you're gonna need a piece of paper again. And this time you have 30 seconds. So get your timers ready. What you need to do is tear a circle in, the, in your piece of paper in 30 seconds. Your time starts when your Scoutmaster blinks three times. So using that circle that you just made out of paper, put it on the floor and take three big steps back. For this task, you're gonna need your five coins as well. So make sure you've got them and you've taken three big steps back. You've got one minute to put the coins, to throw the coins and make them land on the circle that you've just made. Your time starts when our Scoutmaster flaps her arms like wings. Did you manage to get all five coins on in the time? Your next task, you're gonna need your pencil and a bit of paper. This task is to draw an animal without lifting your pencil off your paper. You've got two minutes and your time starts when our Scoutmaster salutes. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that task. Your next one, you're gonna need your biscuit or your tea bag whatever you're using. So you need to balance the biscuit on your head. And once it's balanced, you can't touch it again with your hands or with any part of the top of your body. You've got one minute to get the biscuit from your head into your mouth. And if the biscuit falls off, you need to start again and put it back on top of your forehead. Your time starts when the Scoutmaster does a sneeze. Ah, You've made it guys, we're on the final task. And your last task, you're gonna need your 10p coin. What you need to do is try to toss as many heads as possible in two minutes. Your time starts when your task, or when your Scoutmaster touches their nose. Yeah. So we both hope you enjoyed playing along with us on this Scoutmaster challenge today. Now, if you've managed to take any photos of any of the activities you've done, we'd love to see them on our Facebook page, Weekly Online Sessions. So we hope you all have a good weekend and we hope that we see you guys next week.